Hi. Mm. Hi. Well, I was hoping you'd come down before I have to go to court. I actually have to drink and run. Aren't you staying for breakfast, dear? No, I can't. I'm in a hurry. You want to go where? I have to go to the hospital. I'm preparing a series of lectures for the incoming residents. Did you volunteer for that? No. Uh, well, Steve sort of asked me, and I couldn't really say no. No, of course not. I'm not avoiding you, Monica. Did I say anything? No. You have a nice day, darling. Thank you, dear. I'll see you tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. You don't trust him, do you, Monica? Well, let me put it this way. If you were to ask me, do I think that Alan is cheating on me, I'd say no. If you were to ask me, do I think Alan is being completely honest with me, I'd say no. Why do you feel that way? Oh, you heard him. I think he jumped at the chance to write those lecture series. But it sounded as though he was doing it as a personal favor to Steve. Sure, it sounded that way, didn't it? And I'm sure that Steve asked him, but there are lots of qualified people that can do that. No, he wanted to do it so he could avoid what's going on between us. I thought things were going so much better lately. Well, they have been, relatively speaking. May I ask you a question? Mm hmm Of course. When you and Alan are together, what do you mostly talk about? I mean, lately. Well, the boys, mostly. I mean, AJ, specifically. Yes, yes, of course, AJ and his problems and what happened with Mickey and Alan's part in it. Am I right? Basically, yeah. And what else? Um, Karen's mother, um, what was her name? Uh, Rhonda. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that was another messy little situation that, of which Alan was held accountable, if you, if you get my drift. You've uh, actually kind of lost me here, Lila. If you were Alan, dear, would you look forward to coming home, knowing that the conversation would turn round eventually to the mistakes that you've made? Wait a minute, you're not saying that I should just ignore everything that's happened, are you? Well, no, of course not, dear. And I'm not condoning Alan's behavior either. But I am suggesting that you consider the situation from Alan's point of view. Well, I thought I had done that. Now, hear me out, dear. Now, we have Nikki Langton and Rhonda Wexler, right? Right. Do you think there's any new light that's been thrown on either of those two subjects lately? Well, I... Then why do you persist in bringing it up, dear? Is it any wonder that Alan would rather stay away from home than relive all those unpleasantnesses over and over again? I thought you were doing court. Oh, hi, I am. Huh. I just stopped off to get Ryan Chamberlain's medical records. You know, it still is unbelievable after all this time what he turned out to be. I can remember when I thought the whole staff was lucky to have him. Just goes to show you that people aren't always what they appear. Oh, he didn't even come close. I mean, he was so good with the kids. How could someone lead such a double life right here under our noses? I can't believe... I can't believe I'm rambling on about Ryan Chamberlain. That's understandable. You're probably just thinking about having to go to court. No, I'm not. No, um... I am thinking about the apology I owe you for my tone this morning. What tone? Oh, you know what I mean. Oh, that tone. I didn't mean to, Helen. Really, I didn't. I'm sure you didn't, Monica. You know what? It only makes me think that somewhere deep inside you, you got to be very, very angry with me, and I don't know why. No, that is not true. Not anymore. Okay, well, maybe you just need to think about it just a little bit. There could be, uh, you know, just a residual something there left over. I don't know. Well, if there is, I don't want it hanging around. What I want... I'm not doing this very well. Come here. Come here. What I want to say is that I... I can't blame you for not wanting to come home and listen to the same problems just being hashed over and over again. Monica, I don't ever mind discussing our problems as long as there's a purpose, but I, I don't see any point in us hammering at each other for no reason whatsoever. I think that's counterproductive. I mean, that's the way I see it. And you're absolutely right. It just leaves us where you're angry at me and I'm angry at you, and the, 
the wonderful stuff in the marriage just gets lost in the shuffle. Well, I'm glad you think there's still something wonderful left in the marriage. Oh, there are lots of times when I think it's the best thing that ever happened to me in my whole life. I mean, why do you think I stuck it out this long? Strawberries. <laughs> You got hooked on what I did to you with those strawberries a long time ago, and you're just waiting for it to happen again. I can't believe it. I thought I thought of everything. Okay, I have uh, I have planned a little surprise for our anniversary. You uh, want to hear about it? Sure. How about you, me, and the strawberries go away for a little bit? Where and when? Well, I'll uh, let you know when. I'm going to pick you up in the car and take you to the airport, and you'll know where when you get off the plane. How about that? How about that? I like it. You, you've taken care of everything? Well, I've taken care of everything but the strawberries. That's going to be your department. Consider it done. 